on the broadcast. And tonight, the big question in media land is whether or not NBC should have broadcast audio and videotapes from the Virginia Tech killer on last night's news broadcast. The larger question is where does the right of surviving family members to give in private start and all right as citizens to be privy to such information via the media begin? This question will surely linger on for some time to come. Folks, log on to my page at YouTube. The address is B O N M A C H E 123 and post your comments. In the meantime, don't forget to get your copy of Deep Glance, My Story of Friendship, Love and Politics. This one is safe to read, no censorship. Available at bantonnoble.com, amazon.com, publishamerica.com. And folks, soon to come will be Story Night, where I'll be reading excerpts from my latest manuscript entitled Daddy Dearest on YouTube nightly. It's a very cool, calm, and relaxing way to spend a few minutes of your evening after a hard day of work. So thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned to Story Night coming shortly, where once again I'll be reading excerpts from my latest manuscript titled Daddy Dearest on my nightly YouTube broadcast. So thanks for tuning in. Log on to my page, B-O-N-M-A-C-H-E, one, two, three, and post your comments to tonight's question. Should NBC have shown audio and videotapes from the Virginia Tech killer? Thanks for tuning in. Good night.